Good to everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I got my 2003 Jeep TJ. And if you don't already know, I'm going to show you how to remove your coil springs without using a spring compressor. So basically what we're going to do in a nutshell, we're going to disconnect the sway bar links, we're going to disconnect the track bar, and we're going to disconnect the bolts for the shocks. You may or may not need to remove the shocks, but I'm going to disconnect them in case I need to flex the axle farther than I need it. But we need to get it jacked up first before we can do any of that. All I'm doing is just taking the load off the suspension. Got my jacks underneath the frame. I should be able to come back here, lower I'm gonna pull these shock bolts out. They're 13 millimeter and they look pretty rusted, so I'm gonna try this WD-40. Supposed to let it sit, but I am just gonna spray it down like that for lubrication. Oh yeah, it's on there pretty good actually. Look at this one up top. Just a, yeah. So as I mentioned before, you may or may not need to remove the bolts of the rear shock or the front shock, I should say. The reason why I did it is when I go to drop the axle, if by chance the stop hits in the shock and I need that extra little oomph, I'm not going to have it. So this way, if I need to push the axle down farther, of course the shock's going to stop at its maximum travel and I can still push the axle down to wiggle the spring out. Now I'm going to pull the sway bar link out right here and it's a 19 millimeter. See how well these ones come off. It's been like 10 years. Spin it out. There we go. So now I can just carefully lower this axle down. Perfect. Got the other side jacked up. Pull this other front tire off. Nope, we're coming out. We're out. So last thing I gotta do is remove the track bar bolt. And by doing that, getting the track bar out of the way, it'll allow the axle to drop fully to the point where I can get the springs up without a compressor. Let's hope it comes out without a hitch as well. Came out. Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. Through the front. All right, we'll see how, how well this one here wants to come out now. It's going to find the position. What I want to do is 
Get up over there. There we go. And out. And I'm gonna remove the bump stop too because I got new ones. There we go. So there you have it everybody, the springs are out and now in theory I could have left the shocks in. I didn't overextend the shocks with trying to get them out. So basically you can get away with the sway bar, track bar, and you can pull them out just like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments post them below and I want to thank you guys for watching.